Hello learners. Today's topic is Among School Children by W.B. Yeats, stanza 3. And thinking of that fit of grief or rage, I look upon one child or the other there and wonder if she stood so at that age. For even daughters of the swan can share something of every paddler's heritage and had that color upon cheek or hair and thereupon my heart is driven wild. She stands before me as a living child. These lines bring the poet back from his world of imagination and bygone memories to the classroom of the visiting school, keeping still in mind the fit of grief or anger which Maud felt at the snubbing by a teacher when she was a child. He now places his beloved mud gun in the classroom as a child before innocence was lost. So the poet goes back and forth into memory and coming back to the present scene. We find the coexistence of past and present as well. To the poet's mind, the query sets in, can this half divine apparent heir of the swan's beauty and power be ever like these commoners, the ducklings? Swan represents Zeus and his daughters, one of them Helen. It was Helen who destroyed the civilization of her time. That of, remember the Trojan War, the Greek mythology. And the poet feels that Mudgun was doing the same, destroying the civilization of her time. In retrospect, taking cue from Yeats's unrequited love of Mudgun. Now there is no image of a tail, no parable, sphere, shell, but the color upon cheek or hair, enough to bring back the old Mudgun raincarted as a young woman, a living child, moving over to the consuming success of human passion. I read stanza four. Her present image floats into the mind. Did quattro shanto, finger fashion it, hollow of cheek as though it drank the wind and took a mess of shadows for its meat. And I, though never of Lydian kind, had pretty plumage once. Enough of that. Better to smile on all that smile and show there is a comfortable kind of old scarecrow. Now in the fourth stanza, the poet is back in present and pictures mud and mellowed in age as he to himself is. Remember, he's 61, the smiling 61-year-old man. This beauty, so perfect, as if created by a Renaissance artist, conjuring up its ideas of human perfection. Quattrocento refers to the uh, artistic culminations of the 1400s. It was just the beginning of a Renaissance. And he visualizes the old mud gun as hollowed of cheek, so thin that it appeared that she has taken food of winds and shadows. He does accept that. He has never quite been like the Lydian kind or possessed the beauty of Lydda, but certainly there was a time when even he was considered handsome. With the loss of youth and good looks, there is no reason why he should not smile back at all those who meet him with a smile. A tone of bitterness, resentment, anger and self-contempt does enter the poem. It is useless to brood over youth and beauty. Old age and death signify awful realities. One must always remain cheerful and keep smiling, even if 
one has grown into a scarecrow, a repeated metaphor in Yeats's poems, a comfortable kind of a scarecrow. To be continued in the next session. Thank you.